Well, I think this na- this conversation naturally leads into boundaries. So boundaries mm-hmm. with ourselves, boundaries with team members, boundaries with clients, vendors, colleagues, is that we can set all the intention we want. We can create an ideal week. We can have a block schedule, but it actually crumbles if you don't actually have boundaries. So that's where I see the, um, the glue that's missing between the intent and you've got the strategy and you're like, why does it work for other people? And really, I think it comes down to maybe a couple things, but one major thing is understanding um, how to um, communicate boundaries, how to hold boundaries, um, to understand that boundaries are actually serving you, it's serving your business. Because I don't know about you, Dave, but I don't know the last time somebody said, jumped in my inbox and was like, how can I help you reach your goals? How can I help you get your tasks done? How can I? It, it doesn't happen that way. Nobody's going to come in and be like, um, what can I do for you? They need something from you. They want something from you. Right. Um, and so just understanding your capacity, understanding what your best value is to the company and its goals uh, will let you put these these convey these boundaries and then hold them because you respect your time. And I think I can succinctly wrap that up to say that if you don't respect your time, nobody else will respect your time. It first comes from you and it's going to come from you in the way that you, your relationship with your time and how you're managing it. You know, it's a, that leads me to think too, um, this kind of thought that's spurred in my head is the entrepreneurs, we, we don't just have to maximize our productivity, but we have to maximize or do our best to maximize our team's, teams as well. So obviously boundaries are a part of that, but what are your thoughts or maybe some of your best strategies for a entrepreneur to help improve the productivity of their team, not just themselves? Yeah. So as a small business owner, we're generally leading a team uh, or we're leading some sort of management that is in return leading the team. Um, And my advice is to understand that that's probably one of your highest value activities is leading your team and that there is very few places where you can invest your time and get a multiplier on your time. And that's going to be leading your team. And the way that that looks like, for example, for me, is that each day I have blocked off part of my morning routine. So before I ever meet with a client, before I have these types of interviews, I have a block of time where all it is, is communicating with my team. Some days it's team meetings. Other days it's reviewing work, sending it back, making sure I'm not the bottleneck, answering questions. Because if my team is set up, for success, they're working the rest of the day with little input from me so that I can go do my highest value activity and so can they. Uh, But when that time gets squeezed out because we think, oh my gosh, if I have to, you know, you know, uh, delegate one more thing, train more one more thing, explain one more thing. What if we flip that and said, we get to, because when they are best equipped, they are actually multiplying our time. Hmm. Yeah, I think, um, well, the point of we get to is a really important thing too, right? We don't have to do these things, right? I mean, there's some things we have to do, but, but in reality, we get to do these things. And it's a little bit about mindset around this stuff too, right? Um, you know, the mindset you take into your day, the mindset you take into um, just how you approach your work, it definitely has an impact on your productivity. And so, you know, that point of we get to do something instead of we have to there's it's like taking a negative to a positive right and when you are really positive and excited about something you are that much more eager into it and focused and really pushing for it to work right so i I think there's a a mindset shift that comes along with uh being more productive too 